Alright guys, so today's video is about how to connect SmartBerry watch to iPhone. So let's get down to business. Alright, the first thing to do here is to switch on the Bluetooth of your watch. So how do you do that? You swipe up the watch face like this and turn on this option here. As you can see, it is turned on. That means the Bluetooth of your SmartBerry watch is turned on. Now the next thing to do is to go to your phone and switch on the Bluetooth, the data and the location. Let's go to our Bluetooth, switch on, our Wi-Fi or data switched on, and our location switched on. Once you have switched on these three settings on your iPhone, go to the next step. The next step to take is to download SmartBerry app from Apple App Store. So you can go to your Apple App Store this way, then search for SmartBerry app, SmartBerry, and you are going to see your SmartBerry app there. So you download it and launch it. So the next step is to launch it. So when you launch it, you are going to see something like this asking you to allow SmartBerry to access your location. So select allow while using app. Okay. And you are going to see another message prompt that tells you to grant SmartBerry permission to send you notifications. Select allow. And that is it. So the next thing to do here is to log in with your Apple ID or your Gmail or your mail address or you use direct login. That is, you want to skip the whole step of the login. I would suggest that you go through the Apple login. Select the Apple ID login here. And when you select that, it's going to ask you to confirm. So I'm going to confirm that. And it's going to log in using our Apple ID. Now you can see here, we have our account established show. Make sure you have a screenshot of this so once you have done that the next thing to do is to select confirm down here and select confirm is going to ask you please keep it and you can select determine and the next page is going to show you all this so you can edit all this information here to your own information and select confirm up here so let me edit this Jaguar confirm so body weights. I'm going to pick a random one and confirm. So at this app page, this is where you are going to connect the watch to your phone. To connect it, you have to go to this icon here, select this icon here, and it's going to ask you to open your Bluetooth. Check if our Bluetooth is switched on, okay? All right. So let's search for it. So we can see our HRY 3.0. So let's select that. And it shows connected. That means it has been connected. Okay. So we are getting open Bluetooth. Let's go to the settings. I think there's something wrong at the settings. Let's go to notification. Let's see if our SmartBerry has some notification here okay notification is being allowed okay let's go to the apps smartberry okay as you can see it says our bluetooth is not connected there you are not giving permission for smartberry to access our bluetooth so i'm going to toggle that on and now we can open our smartberry and you can see allow smartberry to use your location when you are not using app so change to always allow and come to your profile and search it now as you can see it is searching and this is our watch 7 okay as you can see it is watch 7 so select your watch 7 and it's going to sync up to your smartwatch as you can see, it says Bluetooth plan request, select here and allow you to receive iPhone notifications, allow and use the find device to confirm it is truly connected. As you can see, it is vibrating, that, is, that means it is connected. So how to get WhatsApp notification on your iPhone to your smart watch. So come to these additional settings, go to the message reminder and make sure you have your WhatsApp reminder toggle on here so once you are sure it is toggle on just select determine and let's see 
if you can receive WhatsApp notification on our iPhone. So here is my phone and I'm going to send, hello, how are you doing? All right, so I'm going to send that to my phone here and let's see. Okay, you can see, hello, how are you doing there? And right on our watch, you can see, hello, how are you doing? So that is how to get WhatsApp messages on your SmartBerry app when you are using your iPhone. The next thing I'm going to show you here is how to change the dial watch face. Okay, so let's go back to our SmartBerry app and you come here to the dial setting here. Select that and you are going to see my dial, dial mall, do it yourself dial, DIY dial. So if you want to sync it up to the dials that are on the app, just go to dial mall and you are going to see some of the dials there. Okay, so just wait for it to load up. As you can see, there are a lot of them coming up right now and you can pick anyone that you want. There are a lot of them, you just have to wait for it to load up everything and you are good to go. You can pick anyone that you want and sync it up anytime. Just select any of these and select immediate exchange and it's going to upload it to your smartwatch. But if you want to change it to your picture, come to DIY die, select that and it's going to show you this DIY die page. Now, the next thing to do here is to select the image you want to use. So you use the option select image, select that, select DIY die and it's going to it's going to take you to your gallery as you can see here so let me select this picture and select confirm and it's showing us a small tutorial on how to move the time let's just pick that and as you can see you can move the time to anywhere that you want so i think it's okay this place and if you want to change the color of this font here you can come up here and pick any color that you want i think yellow will be okay so once you are done select the drop down menu and select save and use and here it's going to start uploading it to your smart watch all right so we have our new watch face on our watch right now as you can see it looks nice right so that is how to change the dial if you want to sync up the phone book from your phone that is from your iphone to the watch here is how to do it you select the phone book option and select this contact up here and you can see add manually actually it's as not add manually add manually and dial history and delete so if you want to add you can add manually like this and you type in the name okay and you type in the number and use this determine to confirm it and you are going to see your contact there okay and also you can add it from your phone book you can just go here once again select dial history and allow smartberry app to access your contact select okay and you are going to see your contact here so you can just add up your contact let's pick one of these options here and select save and you are going to see it on your address book of your smartberry app now if you want to sync it up to your watch here because when you go to your contact on your watch you are not going to see anything there you can see please add contact by app so all you have to do is to select this synchronization symbol and it's going to sync up to your watch now we can now go to our contact on our watch go to the contact and you are going to see it there it's as easy as that as you can see the contact are now on the watch so you can use your watch to make calls so let's call this number dial number and it's going to dial it's as easy as that i'll see you on the next one please stay safe bye for now peace